Moving right along, our next guest this evening is a master of whiteness. He knows what white people like, he knows what they don't like, he knows where they eat and where they like to sleep because he spent his life studying them, but mainly because he is in fact himself white. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to blogger and New York Times best-selling author of stuff white people like, Mr. Christian Lander. <laughs> What's up, my man? Oh, I, yeah, because I was corrupted. That's a play that funky music whiteboard. I didn't recognize it. Obvious, obvious, yeah, obvious. So, uh, you've been like on some kind of whirlwind tour of white, uh, white hot spots or hot white spots <laughs> across America and, and Canada, white hot cities. And uh, how's that been? You tired? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I did. You know, in the quest to find the ultimate white city, I actually found it a couple days ago. You know what it is? No. If you could guess, what do you think? The whitest city in America. San Marino. No. <laughs> Temple City. No, no, I don't know. Portland. Portland, yeah. Really? Yeah. Who just moved back from Portland or is planning on moving to Portland and... Because... Okay. There was a time when everyone was moving to Portland. Yeah. Or planning to move, move to Portland. And then there was people who were coming back from Portland. Yeah. So did you live in Portland? No. But you're white. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're an Angelina, but you're not a native. No. No, I'm not. I understand you're from Canada. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> are white uh, Canadians, are, are Canadians wider than white Americans? Or, you know, are white Canadians wider than white Americans? This is a good question. Yeah. Uh, no. No. So, ultimately, the white Americans that I'm writing about are basically Canadians who are Sarah Palin election away from becoming Canadian. Can <laughs> 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 you think about that for a second? 